Hello. Welcome back. Tactical Tuesday with Johnny Tiger. Date is March 28, 2023. Today I'm going to uh, show you guys a little, almost a sucker punch. You think of it as a sucker punch version of a hammer fist. This is um, usually put right under the crowd control category of striking, aka the kind of move that is really useful if you're fighting multiple opponents and someone is approaching you from the flank. Uh, it's not so much useful if you are going one-on-one -on -one with somebody because this requires a person to be at your side, send, approaching from your side, right? Unless you just happen to able to maneuver yourself into that position. Punch and turn and do this little hammer fist move. But honestly, when you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, they're a lot more uh, effective, a lot of more useful moves than having to turn your profile to the person just to utilize this move. So this move, like I said, it's mostly for when you're dealing with somebody and someone is approaching you from the side and you need to get, deal with the person quickly and decisively. The origin of this uh, movement go back a long time. As far as I understand it, it originated from the leopard style of Chinese Kung Fu. Leopard, out of the five animals, dragon, snake, tiger, crane, leopard, leopard uh, is the one that specializes more in very short and vicious movement. Uh, attacks at really short range and really quick whipping, circular whipping motion with the elbow, with the knee, with the hammer fist. To do this, we first look at the scenario. You're fighting somebody in front of you. Someone is approaching from the side, either grabbing at you or trying to punch you, and you have to evade them. And now you're dealing with two of them at the same time. If you turn to hit, deal with him, now you leave your side open to your original opponent. In this case, we can count on this move. This is uh, what it's supposed to look like. From the regular guard position, we are not going to turn to, look, uh, to confront the person to our side. Instead, we do a short arc with our hand, do a little half circle and hammer right into either the groin or the chest or the solar plexus or the throat or the face. Okay, let me take my guard hand out. Actually, let me turn around so maybe you guys can see better. Okay, so I'm going to do this with my left hand. From the guard position, I can either circle clockwise, boom, into the groin, or I circle counterclockwise, boom, into the chest or into the solar plexus, or into the face, right? So you can think of it as two separate movements. You can either circle out and strike low, or you can circle in and strike high, or middle. So when you circle in, you're going to come out striking face, or chest, or solar plexus. It's very easy to adjust. All it takes is you adjusting the height of your shoulder and your elbow. Okay, if you want to go high, boom. So you can you can go that high, right? If you want to go low, <clears throat> you can go that low to the solar plexus. But if you sh a circle outward, then it will come in at the groin level, right into the groin, right into the groin, right? 
And it doesn't even have to be this close, right? I don't have to wait until the person is right up against me. The person can be that distant. If I know the person is coming, I can step into the person as I'm striking, right? I can step into the person as I'm striking. Right? So in this movement, we are counting on a lot of the circular, a lot of the force generated by circling our hand. Like that, right? Now, one thing you want to be very careful when you use this move, and you want to, when you practice, you got to keep it, make, make sure you pay attention. When you throw out this hammer fist, your arm should never whip out horizontally. Okay, so your forearm should never come across like this. It's not a clothesline. Keep your elbow low if you are going to, when you start swinging. Your elbow almost never straighten out. You only start to straighten out your arm at the end of your arc if the person is further away. Otherwise, you keep your elbow low. Right? Why is that? Okay, keeping your elbow low may seem like a very uncomfortable thing to do because some people, some people when they try to do this move, they'll do this. They'll swing their hammer fist right across like this. Like my uh, own John Tiger special, my spinning hammer fist. Right? Some people will throw their hammer fist horizontally like this. Well, there's nothing intrinsically wrong we're throwing your horse, uh, hammer fist out like that. Right? It's a direct A to B movement. Boom. Okay, you can hit it really hard with that. It's like chopping wood. Boom. Right? But that's only on the punching bag. When the person is approaching you from the side, and if this person know a little bit about fighting, it's almost certainly they are going to have their arm up like this protecting themselves, or ready to grab you, or ready to punch you. Which means, when you sweep your arm out to the side, see what happened. My forearm will hit his elbow. And with the force I'm generating with my swing, I'm going to break my own forearm on his elbow. Okay, that's a no-no. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, so, don't swing your arm across like this. You are going. You you will break your arm. Okay. So the person come in. The arms up like this. I keep my elbow down. I don't swing my arm across. I do my nice little circle. Boom. See. I don't go anywhere near his elbow. Right. Boom. Shoom. Shoom. I'm nowhere near his elbow. I go right down the center. Right? Even if he had both arms up, that is still fine. I can go right down the center between his elbow. So keeping your elbow low so your arm will come across vertically, 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 vertically. Very important. Okay? Don't swing your arm out to the side like a clothesline. You, if you hit the elbow with your forearm, this arm is done. Nice little short episode, but uh, just like our movement, it's a nice little short, vicious movement. Uh, practice this at home, and uh, I hope that you guys have uh, find this episode educational and entertaining. And I hope you never have to use this on anybody because it's not a nice move. Okay.
Um, thank you for checking out today's episode, and I'll be back again tomorrow for some Wisdom Wednesday. <laughs>